Hi, everyone. My name is Pinky. Hi, Pinky. My name is Bob. And、uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you guys. And today we are going to talk about a really interesting article called "A Thousand Plateaus." Oh, great! I have read it too. Let's talk about this article. "A Thousand Plateaus" was published in 1987, and it is written by two people. One is Gilles Deleuze, who is a French philosopher, and another is Felix Guattari, who is a French psychoanalyst. Their most popular works were the two volumes of Capitalism and Schizophrenia. One volume is Anto Adelus from 1972, and another one is The Thousand Plateaus. This article is very important to study of new media because also foreshadows a positive aesthetic concept through the Thousand Plateau before the information network media era and establishment of cyberspace. The tree-like spirit of the book will be replaced by the tuber spirit guided by the new social production mode. That is, any point can be used as a root system to produce a new point. This phenomenon became official after the white page was invented 30 years later. Any white page linking to countless other white pages, and any white page is a root system through the link to develop other roots. So it becomes the entire cyberspace. This article is given a concept idea called rhizom, which is a fundamental theory that may become an answer to the numerous questions. The author used book as a metaphor of an example to compare rhizom as a tree model. It is easy to think rhizom model as a tree, but its contrast with trees, a tree developed in a sequential manner, has an original point for its root to collide in different locations. And to become a junction for a new set of factors. However, the rhizome connect any point to any other point, and its traits are not necessarily linked to traits of the same nature. Rhizome form by dimensions, or rather direction in motion, which does not have the beginning or the ending. Moreover, the rhizome represent a concept of short-term memory, which expansion, conquest, capture, offshoot. And the final idea of rhizom is to develop solely by a circulation of state, not as a center system with hierarchy models. Hi, are you guys talking about the article from a thousand plateaus? I also know something about it. I think in the chapter the author mentioned a theory called the rhizom system, also multiplicities. It does not really break with dualism. It has a subject and object, and developing a sequential manner, has a point of origin and its vector collides in multiple locations to form junction, that further gives birth to a new set of vectors, and the development of a rhizome system is multi-directional and won't stop. Every single element can develop without the other part, but associated with it. I think the theory is so predictable. It determines the current traits of our social development. In our days, rhizom theory also can be found in our social network. It is a giant network, and every independent part is keep developing and does not affect by other part. They still can form to a new part. That's why our social network is so popular today. Bye, guys! Thanks for watching, and hope you can enjoy our video.